Good day everyone. Here I have Garmin Lilia smartwatch, a women specific health tracking. It's more stylish and classic compared to other Garmin smartwatches for ladies, which is designed by women for women. And today I'm gonna review and go through features. Without further ado, let's get to it. The watch has two versions, classic and sport. In here I have the classic version, which has a steel dark bronze bezel with Palma case and Italian leather band. It costs USD 249.99. However, the sport version comes with silicone band and aluminum hardware, which costs USD 199.99. The main price difference is due to leather band, although there are some pattern differences as well. The watch is very lightweight with 34mm watch case and touchscreen Gorilla Glass with a little haptic button at the bottom of the screen, which serves as back or home button. Alright, let's look at the basic features and pre-installed activity tracking that the watch is equipped with. When you raise or turn your wrist, the watch turns on and then goes off to save battery. However, you can also turn it on with a double tap on the screen. To navigate around the watch, you can use touch screen or the haptic button at the bottom of the screen, which I would refer it as on the screen button and force. So I've left or right to maneuver between the screens. Let's start adjusting the screen brightness. First go to the setting, then select brightness. You can either select the auto or level for it. If you select the auto, the watch adjusting the brightness based on ambient light and it is more power saving. But if you select the level, then the watch always remain on that status, which can be too bright at night or not very visible in daylight. But now I leave it on level 3 for sake of recording this video. Next we can set the timeout, which can be short, medium or long. If select the long timeout, receive a warning that this setting will reduce battery life. Then set the gesture to be always on or only during activity. This also has a direct effect on battery life as whenever you turn your hand, the watch screen will turn on. Next, let's look at the watch faces. There are 12 of them available pre-installed and you can customize their information. For instance, on the screen data can be heart rate, number of steps, battery percentage, body battery, weather, notification and so on. Both analog and digital type of watch faces are well visible for indoor as well as outdoor. Next, you can set the amount of water you want to drink per day. It counts the number of cups, which helps to keep you hydrated throughout the day. The Lily also has the women's specific health tracking including menstrual cycle and the pregnancy. Once it is synced with phone, you would be able to see whether details such as temperature, humidity, wind speed and other details. For daily tracking features, the Lily can like data such as steps, intensity minutes, calories, heart rate, stress level, as well as body battery which tracks your energy level throughout the day based on your activity and sleep quality. As for heart rate tracking, you will be able to see the past 4 hours variation, but on the phone, complete data history is available. As for body battery, the last 8 hours would be available on the watch, but again, the whole data history is available on the Garmin Connect app. As for number of steps, intensity minutes, and burn calories, the past 7 days data can be seen on the watch. One of the cool features of the main screen is that you can tap on it and check all the daily tracking data without changing the screen. As a sport watch, it has a pretty good selection of sport profiles to select from, including walking, running, a generic cardio profile, strength training, elliptical, pool swimming, as well as cycling. You can also access to more sport profiles via Garmin Connect app. However, you need to have your phone with you, as the watch does not have onboard GPS to track distance, speed, and location. So you really need to carry your phone for outdoor activities. The watch is also equipped with alarm, timer and stopwatch. Tap on the clock to select one of them. For alarm, it needs to use Garmin Connect to set up. To use timer or stopwatch, double tap to start and stop. The watch is also able to measure the VO2, which is the volume of oxygen in your blood, gives you a rate and shows your oxygen saturation level. To have a better accuracy, the watch asking you to go outside and walk for 15 minutes by pressing the forward arrow, the watch trying to connect to your phone and use GPS. The Lily has also sleep tracking, which shows the time spent in different sleep stages throughout the night, as well as blood oxygen level and respiration rate, which provides you excellent information of your sleep quality. In summary, the watch is equipped with all necessary health monitoring and activity tracking widgets, 
with about 5 days battery life. It has excellent build quality and classic design for ladies who want a watch with the smart features and also suitable for professional setting in everyday life basically. The Lily has some cons such as lack of onboard GPS which requires your phone to track speed, distance and location. It has also limited activity profile on the watch at one time and would be a lot more convenient to have more number of activity profiles on the watch. In the end, let me know your thought about this watch and if you have any question, leave a comment below and same as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.